enough for you to answer the exam questions. I know that very well. But I would like you to take one step further. Yeah? At tertiary level, you should really look at journal papers for COM theory. They are all very interesting research papers. And if some of the research, you know, you will enjoy reading them just like novels. Because um, it's something for you to discover, surprisingly, that, you know, such a thing has taken place. Such a thing was discovered. Okay? All right. That's about uh, cultivation theory. And I hope all the rest of you are ready for your presentation now. Okay. To begin with, mm -hmm. Let's go to Katun Kadija. Are you here? Katun? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Why were you late, Katun? Very, very late. Why? Ma'am, I woke up uh, late, so that's a on the clock. Okay. Now, um, which one are you doing? Which theory are you doing? Sorry, ma'am. Which theory are you supposed to present today, Katrin? Hurry up, hurry up. We don't have much time. Katrin, which theory are you presenting today? Hello, Katrin? Katun. All right. Um, can we go to Okay, go in sequence. Narrative paradigm. Can we go to narrative paradigm, please? Miss, Maha's in charge of narrative paradigm, but she's experiencing a power outage at her residence. I see. Okay, uh, we'll wait for to come back again. Can we have media ecology then? Salih, can we start with you, Salih, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You can share your screen when you are ready. All right. Ali? Uh, yes, I'm coming. Okay. Sorry. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Media ecology theory is the 
Sanjay, can you make your screen bigger? Oh, yes, of course. Yes. Is it clear? Yes, better. Yes. All right, let's start. Media ecology. Now, what's media ecology theory? Media ecology theory is the study of media, technology, and communication and how they affect the human environment. Uh, the theoretical concepts were proposed by Marshall McLuhan in 1964, while the term media ecology was first formally introduced by Neil Postman in 1968. Um, this, that's the definition of media ecology. Media ecology argues that media act as extensions of the human sense in each area. Now what, is that, what does that mean? Argues that media act as extensions of the human sense in each area. That's mean uh, as a human being, we can, we can, we have eyes, ears, and eyes to watch, and ears to hear, tongues to speak. But what what does media does for that? Um, let's see, now every every human average human being has an, has eyes to watch. But what does Media ecology does for the for him. Um, it's a uh, okay. Give me a second. Uh, it can make it thousands of times stronger. Like uh, you have basic eyes eyes to watch, but with media ecology you can uh, literally watch everything and going around the world. Um, Uh, you can see, you can watch uh, any spots on the around the world on Google Maps. Uh, what does it does for your ears? You can hear um, literally someone thousand miles away from you in another, you know, continent. Uh, that's what does what does it means by argues that media act as extensions of the human sense in each area. Now we have different types of media ecology. We have traditional media and uh, technology media ecology. Okay, um, is this clear? Can you see the picture here? No. Yes, 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 you can see this picture. Right, we have traditional media and digital and social media. For traditional media, we have broadcasts such as TV, radio, and uh, magazines, local papers. For digital and social media, we have internet, websites, blogs, uh, digital magazines, social network sites uh, as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Devices, devices to access the digital and social media, phones, iPad, laptop, PC, and etc. Yeah, I'm sorry, is this photo clear for you? Not really, actually. Can uh, you like this, zoom? This, uh, okay, let me see if I can zoom it out. Too. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, I'm just gonna read it to you, okay? For uh, 
we have different types of uh, rev rev revenue, completion, and expense. We have different types of categories for uh, the media ecology. We have construction stage, uh, regulation stage, and tender stage. Uh, first category as construction stage, we have uh, social media. Uh, TV, regular information, online formats, and uh, that's it for the construction stage. In the second category, we have regulation stage, such as YouTube, uh, online marketplace, TV programs, and magazines. For the third and the last uh, category, we have Tinder stage, such as TV programs as well, um, professional websites, um, media apps, and uh, e-books. Uh, I have also uh, a YouTube uh, video I highly recommend for everyone to watch it. I'll just share the the link here. All right, that's it, man. Thank you. Anyone has a question? Nope. Right, so, thank you very much. Uh, 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 can I? So, when it comes to media ecology, it it talks about how the media is used as a tool, right? Like an extension to clear like the mass, like you said. So do you think like this could be a dangerous tool or it could be a tool that could be used to achieve world peace? Um, that's a good question. Okay, give me a second. Okay, for example, the understand the media content of a particular culture, you have to be um, acquainted with the variety of factors such as language and traditions, um, political climate, etc. You should also have access to the internet. Uh, it's the primary form of communication technology today. Uh, you should be a, have your own awareness about what kind of information you receive and whether if it's correct or fake news. I hope that answered your question. Oh, Anyone so else? basically we just have to um, post this media through the context of the world so that our messages could be reached to everyone right and we need to have a strong exactly. moral ethic is that, is that what you're saying exactly you have the ability to access uh, anyone in the world okay okay thank you so thank you very much sally you're welcome anyone has a question all right thank you so much Thank you very much, Sally. Thank you. Thank you, Sally. Sally, is this your first presentation? Yes. This is the first time you're presenting, Sally? Yeah, first time in my life. <laughs> All right. Well done, Sally. To begin with, I should say that uh, you have put in a lot of effort, yes. But uh, there are rooms for improvement, okay? And uh, you have watched um, your other colleagues 
presenting using slides. So you just need to transfer the whatever material that you have packed into a PowerPoint, or you can use other media as well. Okay. Okay. And okay. Um, yeah, but they, not too bad. It's just that you got to understand the theory very well before you present. Okay, so you don't have to even read. Once you understand, you know how to explain it to the class. All right, gotcha. That's it. Sally? What's that yes. link, Sally? Yeah, this is, what uh, is that the link, link uh, I recommend it for more about information about uh, media college. Okay, all right. Class, do you have any question on media ecology? All right. Uh, thank you, Saleh. Now, class, remember that um, now we spoke about uh, media a while ago, and um, this phrase, yeah, media ecology, and who's the theorist, uh, Saleh? If you remember, Saleh, who's the theorist? Yes. Marshall McLuhan, yeah. Okay. Now, Marshall McLuhan is the theorist for this, and uh, the the phrase itself, media ecology, has actually become, I would say, a prominent reference point in media studies, okay? For the past decades, this is very, very prominent, media ecology. And to put it uh, in a very simple way, to cut the long story short of what Tali has done, it actually relates to the theoretical framework that deals with relationship between media and society okay remember it's a relationship between media and society okay and why do you think media ecology these days it is becoming more and more relevant because it deals with the present day technological environment okay i repeat this has to do with the present day technological environment look at our environment Environment and media, media and environment, we, okay, in it. But what does that exactly mean? And what is the focus here of media ecology? Saleh has uh, put in some important points. It's just that he did not stress, okay, even his diagrams were good. But um, you did not actually explain that enough, okay? If you had done it, then... You know, all of them would have understood exactly what media ecology is, right? So all the diagrams, actually, um, it describes the way in which diverse media environment shape today's society. And like I've been mentioning, it shapes our everyday life. Okay? The central point of uh, media ecology let me see if I can share this. Where is media ecology? Mm. Go back to the slides I've uploaded here. If you want to get a clearer picture, then you need to look at um, I'm slides to see what he talks about media ecology. Right? Sally has also mentioned that. It's just that um, he did not go or he don't, did not explain in detail. Okay, so here he slides will tell you what uh, this theory is all about, okay? Symbolic environment in it, the media in it, the medium. Okay? So like I said, uh, I was saying that this theory actually shapes today's society and our everyday life, right? Now the central point here is that communication content doesn't exactly exactly or doesn't uh, i would say influence 
as much as the medium itself. Okay? The medium of communication, the medium selected for the purpose of communicating, that is the influence. All right? That does most of the part. Can you follow? Yes. Good. Okay. And Master Mark um, in this theory. Hello? Madam, uh, can Hello? you hear me? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Yes. Um, I was thinking, like, when when me when media evolves like as technology goes on it also evolves the the way people behave also evolves as well right like okay. i can and um, i can notice the differences in like in terms of simplicity has made people you know 